Almost all the conventional mainstream sources of health information online are full of lies and propaganda. They've been infiltrated by big pharma, the vaccine industry, the the medication industry, the FDA, the CDC, and so on. Uh, Google, for example, is the worst place to get health information because they've conspired with the Mayo Clinic to print uh, disinfo on uh, when you search for disease, you're going to get disinfo there that always recommends a pharmaceutical. And that's really evil. And it's, of course, highly inaccurate. Wikipedia, of course, was started by a porn king, uh, Jimmy Jimmy Wales, is that his name? Um, Used to run a porn site. Then he he started running uh, Wikipedia. And uh, he hates natural medicine, hates nutrition, loves GMOs and pharmaceuticals. So everything there has been taken over by pharmaceuticals. You can't can't get good information there. WebMD, completely controlled, infiltrated by the pharmaceutical uh, uh, industry. Uh, Just takes a little bit of money. And guess what? The website's all pro-pharma. Everywhere you go, uh, most of the science journals, of course, are financially supported by the drug industry which is all about making profit by making sure you never get well. They want to keep you diseased. They want to make sure you have diabetes for life. That's why none of their interventions actually cure diabetes or reverse diabetes. They just keep it going so that you keep needing the drugs. What a brilliant little scam they have going. So let's talk about some solutions. Where can you get good, accurate information that can save your life? Number one, change your search engine and change it to goodgopher.com. It's spelled just like it sounds, good gopher, G-O-P-H-E-R. Goodgopher.com is a search engine that I actually designed and had, had built by an engineering team. And it searches only the independent media that's not controlled by pharmaceutical interests. Isn't that interesting? So if you search goodgopher.com for any disease or diagnosis, uh, diabetes, heart disease, whatever, you're going to get more accurate and truthful and independent information. Now, it doesn't mean it's all going to agree with the, the so-called mainstream system. Of course it's not, because the mainstream system is lying to you. Instead, this information is going to be independent from a lot of different websites. We spider thousands of independent media, new media websites. So go to goodgopher.com for all your health searches. You're going to find a lot more diverse sources of information. Now, the second thing you can do, and this is really cool, we also built a massive news aggregation website that lets you monitor the real-time breaking news from across the independent media on any topic of your choice. For example, well, let me give you the website. Website, uh, fetch.news is the site. Just go there now anytime you want. Fetch, just like your dog fetches a newspaper, fetch.news. And there you're going to see that we have these categories with almost 200 different topics that you can monitor, many of them related to health. For example, you can monitor all the breaking news on Alzheimer's or dementia or uh, diabetes, flu shots, Gardasil, uh, influenza, even topics like medical kidnapping, which is where hospitals kidnap little children, steal them away from their parents to force chemotherapy onto those children or force vaccines or other uh, toxic interventions. You can monitor things like uh, superbugs. You can monitor women's health issues, um, uh, medical, uh, medicinal herbs, for example, natural cures, natural medicine, antioxidants. You can monitor topics about food like clean food or detox or raw food or phytonutrients, organics. You can also monitor topics of toxins that are in the environment like, like atrazine or glyphosate. Uh, heavy metals, mercury, things like that. We have sites, and these are individual sites, by the way, where you can, you can monitor things like uh, uh, sweeteners. If you just go to sweetenernews.com, it brings that up. Uh, aspartame.news covers aspartame. Uh, you can bring up aluminum.news if you want to see all the recent news on aluminum, or, or arsenic.news for all the news on arsenic, and so on and so forth. If you if you look at um, if you look at fetch dot news, you're going to find literally almost 200 different links to different sites that have real time monitoring of these topics, and you can actually leave a browser window open during the day uh, on the side of your screen, or maybe you even have a, a second screen, and you can 
uh, just watch this news roll throughout the day and it will update every few minutes. So it's a very, very uh, powerful system for news monitoring. And I, I use it every day. I'm actually, right now, I run seven different monitors on my desk, seven screens. I've got them stacked vertically. I buy these uh, monitor uh, uh, mounting devices on Amazon that where you can mount three monitors in a vertical stand. And I've got three of those stands, so I have two spaces still open. I'm going to be running nine monitors soon. And you can monitor the news all day, every day on anything that you want. You can even monitor Dr. Oz if you want. I've got Dr. Oz.news. And uh, even political candidates, if you want, guess who owns Trump.news and Clinton.news? Yep, yep, we do. So you can, you can check out that news uh, as well. And a lot of other websites too, WhiteHouse.news, FDA.news. Uh, epa.news cdc.news <laughs> we bought them all <laughs> and we're running uh, these news aggregation sites there so they're very very valuable um, the next thing that you can check out is alternativenews.com now alternativenews.com is another news aggregation site but it has it's all broken down by category so you can look at all the news that's breaking on uh, preparedness for example or health Science and technology. Here, let me find the categories here. Finance, uh, society, government, environment, liberty news. We've got uh, spirituality, military and war news, politics, weird news for all the weird things that happen out there. You can monitor all those news headlines in real time every single day. So check those out as well. And the headlines that you will, you will see on there on alternativenews.com come from across the the natural news network of websites which is rapidly expanding and these sites which tend to be a lot of dot news sites but they don't have to be dot news they are specialty sites run by different authors who are independent journalists and investigators passionate about specific subjects let me give you some examples there because those are some other sites that you can monitor every day for real-time breaking news fukushimawatch.com is one of them. All the breaking news on Fukushima and the radiation that's inundating the Pacific Ocean and the Pacific coast of North America. There are, uh, on the health front, you can go to vaccines.news or medicine.news. You can also check out natural.news, which is a site that's focused more on natural cures and natural medicine, things like that. We've got holisticdentistry.news. And we've, we have solution-oriented sites like stopsmoking.news gmo.news a site on fitness and weight loss called slender.news let's see what else do we have here just just checking it out top 10 grocery secrets.com that's an interesting one about food cures um let's see well those are some of the big ones on the health topics we got a lot of other sites running there too on technology like robotics.news and uh well, let's see. Space.news is a good one. We cover all the space technology. Uh, we've got uh, evil.news for, for publishing all the evil that's going on out there in the world. And, well, of course, well, let me just move on. I mean, there's too much to, to keep track of, isn't it? I'm just trying to give you things that you can explore. Anyway, you'll find all that at alternativenews.com. So uh, check that out. Real-time updates throughout the day. Now, the next thing that you can do, if you still want more sources of information, if you haven't yet uh, experienced information overload, then you can go to talknetwork.com. Now, talknetwork.com is a massive online talk radio network that I co-founded with some other amazing people who uh, have put this together. We have over 30 hosts with their own shows, by the way, and a lot of shows are focused on health issues. So if you want to find a show that talks about health, you know, you can check out talknetwork.com. Perhaps you're listening to it right now because this, this report will be broadcast on the Health Ranger report on talknetwork.com. But if you're hearing this on YouTube, then you should go check out talknetwork.com because we have a lot of great shows there. We even have a woman who does a fruitarian show. Yep, a fruitarian show. If you want to be a fruitarian and just eat fruits and uh, maybe use it as a detox, a temporary detox, or maybe some people live a whole lifestyle just eating fruits, then you can learn about fruitarianism by listening to that show. 
And we plan to have other additional shows joining us with the healing arts as their focus. Uh, I'm talking to a group of chiropractors right now to have a chiropractic show on the network. I want to get a TCM practitioner, traditional Chinese medicine. I'd like to get a TCM show uh, with both acupuncture and Chinese herbs. That would be a great show to have. So hey, if you know anybody out there who's a TCM practitioner, wants to do a show, have them contact us. We're actively looking for that kind of a show. So we have a lot of shows on nutrition and other health topics, but that's a great information resource. So, uh, and this doesn't even include naturalnews.com, which is the site that I started with that has, I don't know how many millions of monthly readers now, but we publish about 15 original unique stories every single day. We have a large editorial staff uh, of researchers and journalists and editors who are doing that. And that's a very valuable resource. So You've got all these resources at your fingertips. You don't need Google. You don't need WebMD. Why would you want to just have drugs pushed into your head, you know, propaganda from the pharmaceutical industry? Why would you bother with that when you have all these other alternatives? You can go, uh, I'm just going to run through them again. Uh, Goodgopher.com is the search engine. Fetch.news is the topic monitoring website with almost 200 topics. Alternativenews.com is news aggregation. Talknetwork.com is the online radio network with lots of different hosts covering lots of different topics. If you put it all together, you have an amazing resource at your fingertips to find solutions for almost anything. Almost any question you would have about, about health or disease symptoms or medications, you can find answers in the independent media. And that's, that's extremely important because, remember, all the gatekeepers of the Internet have sold out to the pharmaceutical interests. They have an information monopoly. They practice censorship. They practice uh, a scientific dictatorship, really, a medical monopoly. And they don't want you to know about natural cures, nutritional therapies, disease prevention, medicinal herbs, and all these other things that can prevent disease and save you money and even, in some cases, help save your life. So avail yourselves of these resources, and it can make a huge, lasting, positive difference in your life. Thanks for listening. My name is Mike Adams, the health ranger for naturalnews.com.